Good afternoon. I just popped out an appeal to the Appeals Council on a case that was denied um, after an ALJ hearing. And the point of this is to let you know, I mean, I did it just like that. When I say popped out, I mean popped out. Um, appealing to the Appeals Council is super, super, super easy and quick. It is not the same thing as appealing a denial on initial or on reconsideration uh, because you don't have to add any new treatment, any things that have happened since you um, were denied or before then. Um, because the appeals council is only looking at what the judge did, said in the decision, and whether or not that judge met the minimum obligations of review and consideration adjudication that he or she is required to do before rendering, or deci rendering a decision. So none of that new stuff counts by and large. Um, so generally speaking, you're not going to be adding new evidence. Um, so, so that was the main point. So this video right now is not about whether you should be appealing to appeals council versus appealing anew or doing nothing. Um, it is about once you know, you should be appealing for appeals council and that's, you know, oftentimes, um, but not always, then don't let fear of, you know, a big burden of work, um, cause you to not do the appeal. Okay, because it's super easy. It takes about two minutes. Um, and what you're going to do is go to the same place where you would go as if you're applying. So it's like very, um, this thing is getting in my face. It's very um, out there in the public. Okay, this is not the way it used to be. We used to have to do everything on paper, fax it into a fax number that didn't work. So therefore, you would try to um, send it certified return receipt mail and tell the trip to the post office. Real pain in the rear. Now they have it online. Um, so again, you're going to go to where you would go to file for disability. When you scroll down that page where you could click the apply, it gives you more options about if you are further along the process and you need to appeal. And it mentions the four different appeal stages. Pardon me. I've got these allergies going on that are just killing my, killing my throat. Um, and the, the one, the lowest one is, um, having an ALJ decision reviewed. And that is your appeals council review because the appeals council is the entity that such an appeal would go to, right? So prior to that, you were you had appealed a reconsideration denial, and that was reviewed by the ALJ. Unfortunately, the ALJ held to the same decision um, as the reconsideration determination, and now you're asking for that to be reviewed by the appeals council. So when you go in there, you're just going to have to identify yourself. Know the date that your denial letter by your judge is. Um, you know, you have to kind of self-identify, social security number, um, birthday, I think. Um, and then when it says, why are you appealing? Just say the the judge erred factually and legally in making his decision or her decision. One sentence, that's it. Um, if you don't even put that in there, it's probably not going to make a difference. Um, the appeals council will be reviewing your uh, situation um, and deciding whether or not there was legal error done. They're, they're not generally going to um, usurp the judge's discretionary capacity to make certain findings, but they're going to make sure that he he took all the steps needed and reviewed all the things he had to review. Um, and if he didn't, and it would be something that would have potentially changed the outcome, they can remand it back to him. In rarer instances, there could be a complete reversal. Um, of the decision and then an award right off the bat. But generally speaking, you're going to, uh, you know, if you're fortunate enough to have them find that there was an error worthy of remand, you'll get the remand, which means you go back to another hearing. Um, it's really easy. It takes like two minutes to get it. And you're going to get a confirmation that you did it. And you're going to save that, print it, take a screenshot with your, whatever you have to do to get a copy of that. You want to have proof that you did appeal it because if you don't have proof that you appealed it within the 60 day time limit, uh, you're most likely going to be denied the right to have an appeal heard because you did it out of time. So um, take that into consideration and don't blow off an appeals council appeal just because you're familiar with ones that are pretty burdensome on you and, and take some time. This one doesn't, okay? You will have the option also in there of asking for an extension to get more time in. So they won't actually look at it until the extension is over, which is usually 25 days. 
Um, you only need to do that if you think you're going to be submitting a brief or if you think there's evidence that you might have a shot of getting them to consider. That's going to be rare. Um, and I won't go into uh, when that might be. But generally speaking, remember, it's about the old evidence that you had the opportunity to and did submit, not about things you forgot to submit um, or uh, things that came after the ALJ decision. OK. Um, but anyway, uh, if you do want to look into submitting more evidence because you think you might have something that might be admissible, unlike most of it, then click the extension and then go, you know, go find out. Um, you have 60 days to make this appeal. You don't have to do it on day one. If you think you need time to get such evidence that you think you might have, or you do want to do a brief, um, I, I the, what, what we do is we start that process right away and we might wait on triggering the appeals council appeal till several weeks later, of course, never coming close to the deadline, only for the opportunity for some of this stuff to be gathered if it's not, you know, or to determine if it's even possible. Um, or of course to do a brief, which we always do. So, um, we generally do ask for the extension and I also don't trigger the running of the extension on day, you know, day two after the denial, um, appeals council appeals aren't that common because, you know, we don't like to get to this point, but they do happen, um, rare, but they do happen. And, um, you want to know that if it's, if it's best for you to do, be taking that chance on an appeals council, because it's the, the best opportunity you have um don't let uh, any fear of it being an arduous process thwart you because you do not have to submit more evidence by and large and you do not have to do a, a brief the appeals council is going to consider what it considers it's going to review the whole thing regardless of whether you do a brief um so that's a that's a good thing all right hope this helps don't be afraid of an appeals council appeal all right of the ALJ decision bye now